Hi, my name is Barry Crompton. Today, I'm going to show you around our Land Rover Discovery. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a three liter SD V6 HSE Luxury. It's a Euro 6 engine, 2018 on a 68 plate, one lady owner, fantastic spec, has done 62,281 miles, MOT until the 21st of the 9th, 2023. It only gives an average fuel economy these days, and that's 31.6 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 7 seconds, a top speed of 130 miles per hour, out of a 302 brake horsepower, 6 cylinder, 24 valve engine. Lovely car, fantastic spec. Um, my ideal car, all black uh, on the outside, it has the black pack, all the you know, the, the little vents on the side, the grill, um, the roof bars, all black, door handles, everything. It's got side steps, it's got keyless entry, keyless go. Get out of the car as long as you've got the key on you. Touch the little indentation there, the doors will lock, mirrors fold in. You come back to the car again, key on you. Put your hand behind the handle and that's it, the car will open. Rear privacy glass has the panoramic roof. So we've got the wheel arch protectors here, black plastic on the, on the edges, diamond cut and dark silver multi-spoke alloy wheels, and it's shod with Pirelli Scorpion Verdes all round. Uh, so now I'm assuming it also locks itself, so uh, it won't do it with a key inside, of course. Side running lights. As I say, the black grille, but I also like the, the black badge. It, it looks really good. Um, it, it's almost like it's in shadow. High pressure headlamp, wash, got the front parking sensors, this trim, the kind of entry angle trim. Looks, looks great, just a bit contrasty, just sets it off. The sunroof, two panels. One over the driver, one over the passenger. This has also got rear entertainment as well. So these two screens in the rear headrest, really good specification. And uh, wait till we get to the boot. So the boot, here we go. We'll just open it from here. If you open it from the key, the tailgate goes up and this flap folds down. Now, the previous owner of this car has got carpet mats on and also heavy duty mats. The heavy duty mats are, are in the boot here, so you can have them with pleasure. You've got a panel over here and it, it's like mission control. Seven seats, or you can have five seats or, or two seats and, and everything down, everything flat. Um, but you can put the seats down from here. You can actually put them down from the uh, information display on the dashboard as well um, so you, you know you don't even have to get out of the car to put the seats down if somebody's one of you you're picking one of your mates up and he's got a load of stuff you just knock everything else down but you can also put the tow bar down from the driver's seat and I'll just show you there we go the last bits rather urgent so you, you don't want to be anywhere near it when it does that, I'll tell you. Um, I, I was messing about with the switches yesterday and I was, I was like that. <laughs> and it just missed smashing my shin. Otherwise I'd have been cursing and probably on crutches today. And it, so watch out for that. Because it goes away too. Now the, the car, the car has got access height as well. So it will automatically, when you switch off, it'll automatically drop down, make it easier to get in and out. Um, you can lower the back from here as well. It's got, I'll, sh I'll show you the back lowering. So it'll be that one. There you go, it was already down. That's putting it up.
I assume that comes in handy if you're putting a caravan or anything on the back or perhaps letting your dogs in. So some people get wound up about uh, funny things. These discoveries, when they came out, they'd, they'd got the number plate over on one side and everybody was going mad, including, I have to say, I thought that looks a bit ugly. But once you drive them, you forget about the number plate on the back. But this one's had, <laughs> it, the lady driver must have been so incensed that she's had a conversion done to put the number plate in the middle. So uh, you, you may notice that at the back. It, as I say, you, you can't see the rear number plate when you're sat in the driver's seat. And when you're sat in the driver's seat, you, you forget about everything because it's just so lovely to drive. But it is funny how, uh, how, how, I mean, people have left comments on some of the videos I've done, you know, but I, I'd never get that car with that rear number plate. You know, you, you'd never get the car because you couldn't afford one. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd have it like a shot. And uh, somebody left a comment on one of my videos <laughs> last, last week. You need a bigger jacket. <laughs> now, <laughs> possibly I do. Who, who knows? I, this is my favourite jacket or one of my favourite jackets. On YouTube, your videos... The more comments you get, the more interaction, the more they get played and the more they get suggested to people. So comments are a good thing. And, and what these people who uh, leave negative comments and are very, very easy to wind up don't realise, that the more comments they leave, the more your video gets shown, the more money you make. So I, I, I like sent them a message back, um, you, you know, like, for what reason? <laughs> Well, what reason do I need a bigger jacket? And uh, he came back to us yesterday and said um, something like, good point. It, it's not the size of the jacket, it's the style. <laughs> You're having a midlife crisis. Well, I'm 64. So what I, what I take that to be, I mean, lots of people buy stuff that they liked when they were younger, but you couldn't afford it when you were younger. And uh, I, saw, I saw a jacket like this, Steve McQueen had a jacket like this on, in Le Mans, in, I think it was 68, the film came out, so I'd be 10, and I liked the jacket. And it's taken me till now to get one. Well, I've, I've actually got, I've actually got three. I've got, <laughs> I've got one of them, <laughs> and I've got a blue one too. So uh, I, I equate a midlife crisis being, ha, you couldn't afford that when you were younger, but now you, you can and you've bought one. You know, you bought a classic car that you always wanted when you were younger. You bought clothes that you, or a Rolex that you couldn't afford when you were younger. So, you know, <laughs> if you want to insult me, you're going to have to do better than that, I'm afraid. <laughs> anyway, back to the car. So... Reversing camera there, again, integrated rear tailgate spoiler. Reversing camera and reversing sensors and the, the twin exhaust ports there, which are, are fake and blanked off. With the suspension lowered, it's nice and easy to get in. You don't really need the side steps. You've got rear entertainment here. Um, <coughs> I won't be able to use it with my gloves on. I don't know whether this will work. No, it won't work with the ignition off, but there's a, a shade band over each sunroof. It, you can set it to automatically open and automatically shut when you get out of the car. So, particularly on sunny days, if you get out of the car uh, and you come back to it, it's not, it's not like a greenhouse because the, the blind's been over. But then you get in and you can enjoy the sun again. That's the remote control here um, there you go in the back that's for the left one uh, you can play videos and also I noticed it was playing or would play my audiobook from here um, 
anyway, that's I'll, I'll perhaps try and do that when I get back to the garage. It's, it's, it's just about to throw it down here, so I, I don't want to be here too long. L look around the car, nice and comfortable, perforated leather seats, heated and cooled seats in the back too. You've got two USBs and it looks like a HDMI socket there, two HDMI sockets. So I dare say, also, you'd be able to play your whatever Game Boy. I, I don't know a lot about um, these these Game Boy things, but I would imagine you can you can play and use the screen here to, to do it and use your controls. So uh, I think it has the Meridian sound system, but you, you've also got here two cup holders, rear centre armrest, the rear chow seat, isofix anchor points, airbags in the A pillar, the B pillar, the, the C pillar, I'm not sure about the back there, but it's, it's a lovely car to drive. It's a great specification. It's, now it looks black to me on the outside. When Lance was cleaning it, he says it's dark blue, very dark blue. The interior looks like it's ivory and also brown or it looks brown to me so you know it, it is a it's an unusual color combination and uh, I, I have to say I really like it I, I love the way it drives put that away you can see the color better now actually because while I've been here talking to the guy that was picking mushrooms and generally videoing it, it's uh, it's come a bit lighter, and you can see it. It's like a a dark, deep sea blue, I suppose. It's it's a lovely colour. Okay, I'll just dispose of the jacket. Missed. My. Might be a good time to get out of here. I think the boss is after me. Right, okay, we've got um, the Range Rover key there. Once you're in, foot on the brake, start the vehicle, and that's it. And it, it goes to the, you, it remembers where you were sitting and takes the seat there, and the steering wheel and the mirrors. Um, service history. Where is it? 25th of 1st, 2020, 6,782 miles. And that was Williams Land Rover Manchester. 12th of 2nd, 2021, at 35,068 miles. Williams Land Rover again. Then 28th of 9th, 2022, we've just had it serviced at Northwest Auto Care. 62,241 miles, so I've only done 40 miles since it was serviced. It is a, it is a lovely car. Um, right, what do I need to do? I need to put my glasses on, not because it's sunny, because I just want to show you the dashboard. to wait for them to come on but in the meantime uh, you'll see there the display I've got my charging lead plugged into one of the USBs in there and if I plug that in like so it's starting to charge it and Apple CarPlay's come up Apple CarPlay is brilliant um, it, not only can you just press this button for a couple of seconds and, and tell it to do what you want without taking your hands off the steering wheel. You can also set things like reminders. I've set a couple of reminders this morning and what it'll do, it, it will actually tell you when you get to a place, not a time or anything, when you arrive at a destination. So when I get to the garage, I'll get two reminders to tell me to do things uh, and not to forget, which is what I need these days. So uh, Apple CarPlay is absolutely fantastic. The dash, You'll see there, I've got the dashboard set up with two instruments and the uh, map in the middle. But if I click menu like so, you'll see there display, vehicle settings, vehicle info, show warnings. Now that's quite important too. 
but we'll just collision avoidance, steering assistance, we'll go back to display, info panel, display layout, down to display layout, select two dial, one dial or full map. So I can click full map like so, and then if I go back up there and get that off, you've got the full the, <laughs> the full sat nav display, but you've also got miles per hour in the center digitally. It tells you what gear you're in. If you if you move out to there, look, it uh, shows you the gear, the mileage, how much fuel you've got, how much to empty, outside air temperature, where the suspension is, and, and the time, and also the what, what I particularly like about this vehicle or, or this system is the traffic signal recognition and it tells you how fast you can go on this road. So this car will park itself as well. If I just put that in drive and then click on the, the P there, you'll see there, if I indicate, it will look for a parking space, tell me when there's a parking space big enough and tell me what to do next. I'll try and demonstrate that uh, shortly. Um, oh, actually, that's on. That's park out. So that's to get out of a parking spot. So if I click there, searching for parking spaces. Brilliant system. Let's get going. Why is it bonging? What's going on? Oh, I'm part of parking. I'll knock that off. That's it. Okay, park assist cancelled. It's a horrid day. But this is a great car to be in on a horrid day. Just go back to Apple CarPlay. No favourites. That's the, that's the display there. So you've got your phone. You can send texts using uh, Siri. Um, you can read text. It's already picked up there. It's trying to... You See. have no new messages. Thank you. So really, really good specification. Heated steering wheel here, which I forgot. This has the lane departure warning system and it, all, it will also steer you back into the, the lane. Um, I find that to be an awful system. I can't get on with it at all. I don't like the, the feedback it gives you through the steering wheel. I don't like why it would be invented in the first place. But anyway, it's got it. And not only just, you can set it to just warn you and vibrate the steering wheel, or you can set it to pull you back, again, through that system, through the menu here. And these, these buttons, when you actually click them, when you click them like so, they, they, they change the function, which is, it's mind-blowing, really. To me, it is, anyway. It might not be to the younger generation, but... You know, it's just, uh, it's unbelievable. You've got cruise control on the right and it's Distronic cruise control. You, uh, if I want to resume there or just set, it's just one touch. And then I can set the distance like so between me and the car in front. So that will keep you a specific distance It'll slow you down and it will break quite savagely if you get too close or you've left a big space in front of you and as usual, you leave a big space and then some idiot overtakes and drops into the space uh, who's, who's never learnt his braking distances in the highway code. And, and it, it'll, it'll again pull you back and keep that space. That's showing you where we're going here. And I like that system. I really do like that system. I like to go out. I like driving. I like to go out for a ride. I don't particularly know where I'm going. I, I'll, I'll just drive somewhere. When you don't know the country, when you've got that in front of you like so, 
you can almost drive without <laughs> you can almost drive uh, you know blind or, or with snow over the windscreen like you see some people and uh, there you go is it accurate yes it is we're going around the corner yeah there you go so it's a great indication of, of what lies ahead um, electric seats it's three position electric memory seats it will also remember your steering wheel position and your mirror position I've changed position one when we just get up here where there's no bends or anything and no pheasants sat in the road I'll uh, try and demonstrate it uh, a little better. <sighs> One of the great things it has, which I'll try and remember, is blind spot warning. Um, that is a tremendous system. and well worth inventing. Look at this weather. But you, you know, what better vehicle to be in? A car that will go through nearly three foot of water, or wade through three foot of water, four wheel drive, it will do, you know, it will go anywhere. Come on, they're not bothered are they? I'm not taking off, there'll be people shooting at me. Oh, they're not, they're not for moving. Come on. They run, run up the road. <laughs> God, goodness me. No pheasants were harmed during the making of this video. Oh, getting, getting back to my jackets. Um, things you couldn't afford when you were younger. Uh, like, what? Golf. Um, <laughs> I've wanted one of those jackets since 1968 <laughs> and I just got one this year. That's, uh, hopefully nothing's coming around the corner there. He should really have been checking and uh, letting me know. I'm not so sure shorts were a good idea today. Great driving position. As I was saying before, that from the from the display, um, I'll just go back to Land Rover. We've got going around Certain Death Corner here, so give them a beep. Don't hear anything. Okay, so we've gone back to Land Rover, and then we can scoot across there, and you'll see there seats. If I click on seats, that's the heated seats. But there, you can you can put them. You can actually put the seats down, put them back up. You go back, and the tow bar is somewhere around. Deployable tow bar again. Measure load, trailer bulb check. That's incredible. Can it, can it weigh it? 
perhaps somebody will be able to tell me in the comments because I, I I don't know about that. Measure load. Of course, there's not there's nothing on it, is there? So it won't be measuring anything. You know the. Um, you know. <laughs> When I, when I was a kid and we used to go out and go on a trip and it'd be throwing it down and me and my sister used to be sat in the, the back seats, normally asleep, but when the car started slowing down and you'd hear those familiar noises and you'd think, oh, right, great, I'll be, I'll be going in the house in a, a few seconds and I'll be nice and warm and I, I, can, I can go to bed. You're in here and it doesn't get any better. It, it doesn't, you know, it's not going to get any better when you go in your house. It really isn't. You, you're not going to have something that was warm in your hands. You can switch the heated seats on like so. That's the heated seats. Or you can go back, just knock them off. Or you can have cooled. So the air conditioning will blow cool air through the perforations in the seat. I mean, it's just, In summer, that's absolutely fantastic with leather seats because I've said it before that I would rather have, I mean, I prefer the look of leather seats, but actually using um, and for comfort, I prefer cloth. You know, leather seats are either, you get in and they, they scold you, they're that hot when they've been in the sun or they're freezing. And so anyway, that, counteracts that, that's a, a way around it. The uh, heated front screen, brilliant. Heated door mirrors, you know, the heated front screen, the best invention ever. And if anybody saw my Citroen Ami video the other day, done in the rain when I was wet through and, you know, specifically to see what it was like with condensation, um, <laughs> I've already researched trying to get a heated front screen for that, that vehicle. They are that good, um, you know, to, to have one custom made and put in the car. That, that's how much I think of a heated front screen. They're fantastic. Now, there was a lot of sheep around here before. When I came down, there's Jubilee Tower and the, uh, the sheep just seem to always congregate here, right in a blind spot. This, this car is just so smooth. The suspension's fantastic. I can change into sport, press the gear selector down like so and click it over to sport. There's no sheep, none at the side of the road. Give it a blip. And away we go, you know, big vehicle. Takes up very quickly. We've also got paddle shift which you can select if you don't use them you can select to just use in sport or you can have them operating in sport and drive like I changed it to this morning so the, the lane departure if I click that it's the lane departure is now showing over on the left hand side but uh, probably won't pick these up anyway and I'd, to be to be fair I, I don't want it to, to pick them up because I'll show you on the motorway unless you indicate then you'll either get the warning the zzz, or it will steer you back into the lane that you you're coming out of okay so this morning I've got the I've got the cruise control and the lane departure warning on and uh, 
there's nobody behind me, nobody to signal to. And I went to pull out and uh, it pulled me back into the lane I was coming out of and slowed me down because the car I'd, I'd obviously gained on the, the car in front. So I suppose it's kind of idiot proof. Look at that weather. I'm going to put the headlights on. Well, they're on auto. Wow! Look at that! And get that heated front screen on as well. I was, uh, I was going to try and get to the car park at the capital centre when I go for my lunch to um, demonstrate the, the parking. But anybody who comes out in this weather that doesn't have to. I'm just thinking about being in the Citroen Ami, what that would be like. Such a beautiful, smooth ride. Hey. The only thing with weather like this is, of course, all the spray, all the mud comes off the side of the roads, so the car ends up filthy. And we have a deal with a local car wash, and, and they're, they're such hard workers. But uh, I took one the other day, and it was, it was going out in 10 minutes, and it was, it was, I hadn't washed it, I'd been out in it, I hadn't washed it. So I had to get it clean for the customer, and I went and it was, they were washing the car and it was like this. I think they were cursing me. I mean, it's that bad, I, I could actually do with another, an even faster speed. But what car would you rather be in in this weather? I'm, t I'm toasty. I'm just going to turn that up a little bit. The screen is clear. I'm going to put my back wiper on too so I can see out the back. You know, if, if we had the rain like it was back there in Preston, um, we've got several areas that flood. They flood very, very quickly. And uh, these are the cars to be in. So it's got the, the seven seats. We've got the big front central armrest. We've got these armrests, which I always used to use, but I don't anymore. I now find them uncomfortable. You know, they're a bit on your elbows. Might be because I'm getting bigger. 
Okay, let's let's just get back here. I want CarPlay, so CarPlay. I've got a signal there, a 5G signal. So the voice activation button here. Text Barry. What do you want to say to Barry? It's lashing down. I'm glad I'm in a discovery. It says, it's lashing down. I'm glad I made a discovery. Send it. Yes, please. Done. So it's not foolproof, <laughs> but you get the gist. And you'll see there, a message has come. Easy enough. Press the voice activation button again. Read text. Barry sent a new message. It's lashing down. I'm glad I made a discovery. Would you like to reply? No, thank you. Those are all your messages. So, your sat nav, if you use Apple to uh, get directions, I can do that. So here we go. Navigate to PR5 4EA. Getting directions to Preston PR5 4EA. It will automatically go if you don't press that button. That's it. Tell me to turn left in 200 yards. And we've got the display there and also the display there. End navigation. All right, done. So, that's the Apple CarPlay system. So here we go. On to the motorway on the way home. These are just the type of conditions where I don't want to be on the motorway but because my YouTube viewers want me to show what the cars are like on the motorway, I'm doing it. So if anything happens, it's your fault. You'll see there that um, insignia in front, or whatever it is. Yeah, it is an insignia. You see how he understated coming round, and we didn't. Oh my word. Scary, scary, scary. The person driving that insignia has got to be the worst driver in the world. Right. Just watch out for the blind spot warning indicators. There you go. We'll put the lane departure on. So lane departure is picked up there. It's green on both sides, so it's got the lines on both sides. Blind spot warning indicator. I mean, as I, as I said before, what what car in these conditions would you rather be in? So 
So we're set at 56 at the moment, but here, there you go. So I can adjust the distance between me and the car, in, or in this case, the, the lorry in front. And this, this is why I don't like lane departure warning. That, it's got like a, a sort of haptic feedback. There we go, so that's showing that the cruise is set, that lane departure warning's on, and, and here we go. I mean, it, I really don't like that because where I would normally dr just drive smoothly, just gonna increase the speed I'm going, so that's up to 70. It's, it's breaking me. I'm going to turn across the. Here we go. I'm. I'm. I'm actually. There's nothing behind me. But I'm having to force it to cross the white line. I'm going to knock that off because I hate it. But it's got it. We have had people request. This is absolutely shit. Not for him though. That, that, Not shit for them. They must, uh, they must, I don't know. That's a little bit better. I, I would absolutely hate, back there, I would hate to be in any car that's not a Range Rover or a Land Rover. I'd, I'd hate to be in a saloon car. The, the spray, I can see above the spray, just about, but if you've got a, a normal saloon car and, you, and you're down there, I mean, this person here going by. How on earth would they have been back there? And if anything happened... Anyway, we'll go back. Now it's clear a bit. Menu. Security features, vehicle info. Collision avoidance. Here we go. Steering assistance, that's it. Lane keep assist, you'll see it's knocked off there. But if I go in there, knock it on, it's come on again. It's, so you can switch it on from here and you can switch it on from there. But now I can access lane uh, departure settings. Click on that, steering assist or steering vibrate. So it's on steering assist at the moment. Okay, so the Cruises, we'll just set cruise. So we'll just watch this. That's setting the distance. We'll just get a bit closer. 
and then if I increase the distance like so this is what it's like in uh, I can feel it slowing me down now there you go that's keeping me a set distance from this vehicle in front just speeding up a bit there you go so if I just hit that there you go that's slowing me down setting me back keeping me further away you can override it with the accelerator you'll see there that the orange vehicle has gone off and that's once I've taken my foot off the accelerator, it's slowing me down and the orange vehicles come on again. We're doing 52. As soon as I get a chance to pull out, I'm going to. Quickly, he's gone by. Indicate and away. Going too fast. Again, it's it, not that lane departure warning off. It's it's a nightmare. I'm just showing the cruise now. Not the lane departure off. Go. this I just undertook a van in the outside lane not that the van should be in the outside lane but there you go the cruise is is breaking me quite violently to keep me away from that vehicle in front it, it, who knows it might have an idiot detector as well So anyway, I'll, I'll finish the test drive there. You've seen what it's like in foul weather. What a great car. <laughs> I, I really wouldn't have liked to have been in any other car apart from my Range Rover Sport, I think, in that weather. It was awful. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.